Hey, welcome to a new video. You probably know the expression that everyone's unique, but how many people can say they have characteristics that no one else has? Not many. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Fedor Jeftichu, better known as the dog-faced boy, was a boy who was born with extreme hair all over his body. However, he was not the only one in his family who had this. His father had the same problem and became famous throughout Europe with the nickname Wolfman. Fedor was born in Russia, and he was noticed by someone who worked at the Barnum Circus, and they offered him a contract. An age difference of six decades between you and your fiancé is a bit unusual. But what's truly remarkable about Amanda Liberty's fiancé is that it's a chandelier. Amanda is a woman from Leeds, United Kingdom, who made headlines in 2019 for her plans to marry Lumiere, a 91-year-old chandelier. She identifies as an objectum sexual, someone who feels attracted to inanimate objects and has romantic feelings for them. She stated that she fell in love with chandeliers for the first time in 2017 while browsing online, and when she saw Lumiere, it was love at first sight. Amanda's openly discussed her relationship, describing it as a genuine and loving one. She paid $500 for the chandelier and hopes to marry it in a ceremony someday. However, it's worth noting that Amanda's real last name isn't Amanda Liberty, it's Amanda Whitaker. The name changes because her previous relationship was with none other than the Statue of Liberty, which explains the surname change. The next woman named Mikkel Ruffinelli is known for having the widest hips. She has a waist of about 40 inches, or 102 centimeters, which in total measures an incredible 7 foot 10 inches, or 2.4 meters in circumference. Mikkel is a mother of four and is listed in the Guinness World Records for the widest hips in the world. Believe it or not, but she had not always had hips in large size. As a teenager, she was athletic. With a normal weight of 141 pounds, or 64 kilograms, she did have wide hips, something that already ran in her family, but nothing unusual. It wasn't until she had her first child at the age of 22 that her body began to grow out of control. Although she has embraced her figure and even started modeling, she still has problems. For example, she has to pass through most doorways sideways and would rather drive a truck than a car. Abby and Brittany are probably the most famous conjoined twins in the world. They have two heads, two personalities, and two souls, but only one torso. The twins even had their own television show where they discussed their lives together. Today, they're still together. Although many conjoined twins underwent surgery to be separated, Abby and Brittany's parents decided not to. After all, there was no 100% guarantee that both girls would survive the procedure. If you know anything about Hindu culture, you may have heard about the deity Hanuman. But what if I told you that there's a boy in real life who also has a tail? A boy named Arshid Ali Khan was born with a 6.6 inch or 17 centimeter tail on his back and he was immediately worshipped. When Arshid underwent surgery to have his tail removed, he lost his god status, but at least now he can walk normally and enjoy his life again. In the 19th century, people were very obsessed with new discoveries in medicine. At the time, the Boston Sunday Post published a number of reports that listed human freaks. There were mermaids, a human crab, and a man with two faces. The man with two faces was named Edward Mordick. It's said that this man was a talented musician, but according to the story, he was cursed because he had a second face on the back of his head. People also tried to avoid his company because they thought there was something devilish about him. There's very little that surgeons can't do these days, but a full face transplant is relatively new. Dallas Waynes is the recipient of the first full face transplant in the United States, performed in Boston in 2011. In 2008, Dallas came into contact with a high voltage power line while painting a church in Texas. This left him without a face, including his eyes, nose, and lips, and he underwent dozens of surgeries to repair the damage. In March 2011, he underwent a groundbreaking 15 hour surgery in which doctors replaced placed his entire face with that of an anonymous donor. The procedure was successful, and Dallas regained his ability to smell, taste, and breathe normally through his nose, as well as his ability to speak and eat normally. Since his surgery, he's undergone rehabilitation and physical therapy to improve his mobility and adapt to his new face. 
Fedor Jeftichu, better known as the dog-faced boy, was a boy who was born with extreme hair all over his body. However, he was not the only one in his family who had this. His father had the same problem and became famous throughout Europe with the nickname Wolfman. Fedor was born in Russia, and he was noticed by someone who worked at the Barnum Circus, and they offered him a contract. The recommended daily water intake for a person is typically between 1.5 and 3 liters. However, for a German man named Mark Wubbenhurst, this amount is a staggering 20 liters. He suffers from a rare medical condition known as diabetes insipidus, which leads to constant thirst and frequent urination. Due to this condition, he might drink at least 20 liters of water every day to prevent severe dehydration. He first noticed his extreme thirst when he was in his late teens, and since then, he's been consuming large amounts of water. Some Sometimes he drinks as much as 30 liters of water a day, and wherever he goes, he carries a 5 liter water bottle with him. If he were to stop drinking these massive amounts of water, he wouldn't last more than a few hours, as his body starts to dehydrate. His thirst doesn't subside even after drinking a glass. When he tries to ignore his thirst for just an hour, he already experiences symptoms of dehydration, such as dizziness, confusion, and dry lips. How many liters of water do you drink per day? Let us know in the comments. Jess is a 23-year-old woman from Colorado, USA, who is known as an adult baby, meaning she enjoys wearing diapers, drinking from bottles, and engaging in other childlike behaviors. She was featured in the television series Extreme Love in 2019, which explored the world of alternative lifestyles. In her teenage years, she discovered the adult baby community online and became more comfortable with behaving like a baby. She says that wearing diapers and regressing to a baby-like state helps alleviate stress and makes her feel safer. Jess lives with her boyfriend, 25-year-old David, who fully supports her lifestyle and even participates in it. They take on the roles of caretaker and baby in their relationship, which Jess believes has brought them closer together. When she's not drinking from bottles and wearing diapers, Jess emphasizes that she's an independent adult. She has a full-time job, a YouTube channel, and pursues hobbies like art and singing. Lupita and Carmen Adrade are Siamese twins connected at the pelvis and sharing a reproductive system. Despite their physical connection, Lupita and Carmen have their own distinct personalities and preferences when it comes to relationships and intimacy. In an interview, Lupita explained that she prefers to focus on her education and career, while Carmen enjoys spending time with her boyfriend. However, both twins emphasize the importance of respecting each other's choices and boundaries, as well as the value of their close relationship as sisters. The twins have also spoken about the challenges they have faced in their lives, including health, issue including health issues. Despite these challenges, they remain optimistic and determined to live their lives on their own terms. While Lupita and Carmen are rare, medical technology has allowed Siamese twins to lead independent lives. However, decision-making processes regarding separation and other medical interventions are still complex and require careful consideration. But watching an interview with them, you can see that they share the same impeccable sense of humor. Prince Randian lived in the 19th century and was born from Indian slave parents without hands or legs. Nicknamed the Living Torso, he also performed in the Barnum Circus. Despite having only a torso, Prince Randian became famous for his performances and earned as much as $1.1 million, which was a huge amount of money at the time, and still is. There's a saying, a person with a big heart, and we all know what that means. But what if the person has two big hearts? Tyson Smith is a man who had problems with his own heart, so the decision was made to support his heart by inserting a donor heart to save the man's life. The surgery is said to have been extremely tough, but in the end, everything went well, and Tyson is completely fine with his two hearts. Amethyst Realm is a woman from Bristol, England, who claims to be engaged to a ghost. She gained worldwide attention in October 2018 after appearing in various interviews discussing her relationship with a ghost named Ray. According to the woman, she first encountered Ray during a trip to Australia when she felt his presence next to her on a plane. She later traveled back to Australia to connect with him, and the two began a romantic relationship. The woman also claims to have had sexual encounters with over 20 different ghosts over the years, but she says her connection with Ray is deeper and more meaningful than with the other spirits. She's described her relationship as similar to a human one, with regular communication and dates. Additionally, she's expressed a desire to have children with her ghostly fiance, believing it's possible through a form of energy transfer. Since sharing her story, the woman has faced much curiosity 
negativity and skepticism from the public. Nevertheless, she remains committed to a relationship with Ray, stating that she feels happier and more fulfilled than ever before. In late 2020, she announced on a British morning television show that she had broken off her engagement with Ray, citing his continued disappearing acts and her intention to focus on her career as a spiritual counselor. Siamese twins are an extremely rare phenomenon, occurring in about 1 in 200,000 live births. In the case of Shivram and Shivna Sahu, separation was not an option due to the risk associated with such a procedure. They were born in Chhattisgarh, India and were joined at the waist, sharing several organs including the liver and intestines. While reportedly healthy in their early years, the twins began experiencing health problems later in life. The exact cause of Siamese twins is not well understood, but it is believed to arise when a fertilized egg does not divide properly during early development stages. When it comes to separation, it's a complex decision that depends on several factors, such as the location and extent of the connection. Although some Siamese twins can be safely separated, others may share too many vital organs, making it impossible or too risky. In some cases, the decision to undergo separation may be left to the twins themselves once they are adults. Minnie Wooly's life was not easy, as she spent much of her life in a mental hospital. She had been born with a very rare condition that made her look like a bird. When her time in the mental hospital was over, the girl became famous because she started performing in suits made of feathers. Her dances were very freaky and she spoke gibberish, but that was exactly what the people liked about Cuckoo, the bird girl. Abu Bahandar is from a town in southern Bangladesh, and he had to quit his job when he developed deformities on his hands. Abu has an extremely rare skin condition called tree man syndrome, which makes his hands look like tree branches. His case baffled many doctors around the world. As a result, he landed in multiple international headlines with the name Tree Man. Since 2016, Abu has been subjected to a total of 25 surgeries, and each time, doctors thought they had finally cured his disease. But after a while, the tree branches kept growing back. In 2017, he had another surgery, and after that, he was able to use his hands to eat and write. However, doctors say more treatments will be needed in the future. There are few people on Earth who have a difficult life with huge challenges. Like Chen Tuansi, the woman who comes from a poor family, and when she was born, her knees were abnormally bent forward, giving her L-shaped legs. For a long time, she could not walk, at least not like other people. In her village, she was nicknamed the Crawling Girl. The reason for this is that she moved with her hands, which she used to drag her body along the ground. So unfortunately, she was also stared at a lot by people who walked past her on the street. It wasn't until a local newspaper wrote about her story in 2013 that her life began to change for the better. Since then, she has undergone multiple surgeries and is now able to walk. When Devendra Suthar goes to his daily work as a carpenter, he often worries about one thing, the increased chance of accidentally hurting one of his extra fingers. Suthar is 40 years old and is the only person in the world with a record number of 28 fingers and toes. The Guinness World Records has even recognized his extra features. Born in Western India, he has seven fingers on each hand and seven toes on each foot. He admits the extra fingers make life a little harder, especially since he's always especially since he always has to be careful. However, he also sees the extra fingers and toes as something positive. He enjoys the people who come to visit him and treat him like a celebrity. In addition, he also enjoys making children laugh with various hand tricks. From the beginning to the end of her life, Carol Orzel is said to have lived fast and furiously. Shortly before her tragic death, she wished her body to be donated to the Mutter Museum for educational purposes. But why, you may ask? Carol had one of the rarest and most painful diseases in history, Fibrotic Dysplasia ossificans progressiva, also known as FOP. It's a genetic disorder that causes your tissue to harden into bone. And not your ordinary bones, but it amounts to forming a kind of double skeleton. The body ends up trapped in a specific position when its own skeleton locks up. Today, Carol's skeleton is on display in a desired museum, next to the only other skeleton on display by one Harry Eslack. It's definitely easier to change something about yourself these days, because if you don't like something about your appearance, you just use makeup or some people even decide to do plastic surgery. 
But back in the day, let's say in the 18th century, you had to accept yourself even if your nose was 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters long. As crazy as it sounds, Thomas Wetters had a Pinocchio-like nose. It's hard to imagine what it was like for a man to go through life with a nose that was so long. According to several articles, it was very difficult for him to breathe. Like many other so-called freaks, he joined the circus and was very popular in the English town Yorkshire. It probably won't surprise you that Thomas is still popular today, as many people visit the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum just to stare at a statue. It's also believed that he was the man with the longest nose in the world, and that his world record has still not been broken today. When you first see this twin pair, you almost won't believe they are actually twins. Haley and Lauren Durant are considered to be the only biracial twin pair in the world with different skin colors. They are fraternal twins who have gained attention for their unique appearance. While Haley was born with dark skin, brown eyes, and black hair, her sister Lauren was born with white skin, blue eyes, and blonde hair. Despite their different appearances, the sisters have a close bond and have embraced their individuality. Their mother has said that the girls are often asked for identification to prove that they are twins. However, they love the attention and the opportunity to educate people about the beauty of diversity. In addition to Haley and Lauren, the Durant family has also had another pair of twins, Mia and Leah, who are also biracial with different skin colors. The chance of having two sets of biracial twins with different skin colors is estimated to be about 1 in 500,000. How incredible! Myrtle Corbin was one of the greatest living miracles because this woman had four legs. In addition to having four legs, she married and gave birth to no less than eight children. Her medical condition was called Depegas, and doctors at the time assumed that the two extra legs came from her twins. Myrtle was only 13 years old when she became famous, and she too worked with the Barnum Circus. Oliver and Harry Beswick are 15-year-old fraternal twins from Stoke-on-Trent, England. There is more than one reason why they are different. Harry was born with Golden Heart Syndrome, a rare congenital condition that causes mild to severe physical abnormalities. In Harry's case, this meant he was born without features on the left side of his face, including his left eye, ear, and nostril. This required Harry to undergo a series of corrective surgeries to improve his quality of life. In addition to his physical challenges, Harry was also diagnosed with autism at the age of four, which further affects his social and communication skills. Despite these challenges, Oliver and Harry have a special bond and have a unique relationship as brothers. Oliver is very protective of Harry and is often the one helping him overcome any difficulties. Both boys have a strong interest in football and have played for their local team, with Oliver often helping to coach Harry. Their mother, Lucy, decided to raise awareness about Golden Heart Syndrome by starting a social media campaign called Different But Perfect. Identical twins Catherine and Kirsty Fields from Lanelli, a town in South Wales, literally have a condition so rare it was named after them. The twins have an impossibly rare progressive muscle disorder. This causes them to have to sit in a wheelchair and have over 100 muscle spasms a day. At some point, they might not even be able to talk. So Catherine and Kirsty are the only people in the world who have this. Although, doctors have not been able to restore their voices. The twins received an electronic speech machine for one of their birthdays. The first conversation they had when they regained their ability to communicate with the world was about their favorite singer, Harry Styles of One Direction. Isaac Sprague was a man who looked like a living skeleton because he had a condition that caused him to constantly lose weight. His weight literally dropped to skeleton level, and he was another freak who performed at the Barnum Circus. Here, Isaac had the opportunity to show others that even with such a condition, you should never give up. Catalina and Virginia are the very first albino twins born in Argentina with snow-white hair. The birth of Catalina and Virginia was a rare occurrence, as only 1 in 17,000 people worldwide are born with albinism. Albinism is a genetic condition that affects the production of melanin in the skin, hair, and eyes, resulting in little to no pigmentation. The family often receives stares and questions about their unique appearance, but they embrace the differences and share their story to raise awareness about albinism. They hope to increase awareness and promote acceptance of people with this genetic condition. Catalina and Virginia are now four years old and have become a sensation on social media due to their beautiful photos and many positive messages. 
The parents hope to teach their daughters to be proud of who they are and not to let anyone else or their appearance make them feel inferior. Yu Shen Huan is known for a few things. One is his aspirations to become China's newest rock star. The second is the fact that his hair covers a total of 96% of his body, almost every inch of his body. Despite this, Yu has a positive perspective on life. Born in the Chinese city of Shenyang, he was often bullied, laughed at, and called a caveman as a child. Nowadays, he embraces his unique appearance. However, his appearance comes at a price. The extra amount of hair impedes his hearing and other parts of his body. He had to undergo a total of five surgeries. Mariam Nabatanzi, also known as Uganda's most fertile woman, has made international headlines with her incredible story. She has given birth to a staggering 44 children, including six sets of twins, four sets of triplets, and three sets of quadruplets. The woman is 42 years old, and her children are just over 18 years. Miriam was born in a village in rural Uganda and married at a young age, when she was only 12 years old. She had her first child when she was 13 years old and continued to have children rapidly over the next few years. Miriam's husband left her and her family when the children were still very young, leaving her to take care of herself and raise her brood alone. Her remarkable fertility is linked to a rare genetic condition known as hyperovulation, which causes her to release multiple eggs during ovulation. This increases her chances of having multiple children, such as twins, triplets, or even quadruplets. Despite her incredible fertility, Miriam has faced numerous challenges in raising her large family, including poverty and health issues. Miriam's story has gained international attention and has been featured in news articles all over the world. She has also become an advocate for family planning, encouraging other women to take control of their reproductive health and make informed decisions about their body and future. Tom Staniford is a British man in Aquatiri on the island of Cyprus. He is one of the skinniest people in the world. So skinny, in fact, that the shape and structure of his skull stand out very strongly. Tom suffers from a condition called MDP syndrome. There are only eight cases of this registered in the world. Because of this particular metabolic disorder, Tom is unable to store fat. Tom is six foot three inches, or 190 centimeters tall, but weighs only 143 pounds, or 65 kilograms. He also has some other health problems. He has type two diabetes, low testosterone, and he's not very flexible in his limbs. Despite everything, Tom did not let his illnesses discourage him because he became a professional cyclist, one of the best in his sport. In 2011, he became a national paracycling champion, and then he also became a Paralympic world cycling champion. Nick Smith is only 2 feet 11 inches, or 89 centimeters tall, making him one of the smallest men in the world. In contrast, his two brothers, Levi and Travis, are tall men. In fact, everyone in his family is tall, but Nick has a rare genetic disorder called primordial dwarfism. This disease causes delayed development in the womb. In these cases, which are extremely rare, the unborn child does not grow as it should. According to Nick's doctor, dwarfism slows down cell division, which is why he's so small. But according to his mother, Nick is a positive boy with a great sense of humor. His small stature doesn't stop him from becoming the king of the prom or joining the local theater group. Are you a twin and how close are you to each other? And would you ever marry another set of identical twins? That's exactly what the following twins did. Meet Brianna and Brittany Sailors, who made headlines in 2022 when they both married identical twin brothers, Josh and Jeremy Sailors. The couples do not live together, but their marriages have resulted in their children being both siblings and cousins to each other. It's unusual for identical twins to marry another set of identical twins, but not as uncommon as you might think. There are around 250 pairs of identical twin couples in the United States. But why don't their children look identical? Although identical twins share the same DNA, they do not produce genetically identical offspring. Each parent contributes 50% of their DNA to their child. However, random mutations during development of the egg slash sperm can make the DNA of the twins different. Trimethylaminuria is a rare genetic disorder that affects the breakdown of the compound TMA in the body. 
TMA is found in various foods like fish, eggs, and certain vegetables, and is also naturally produced by bacteria in the intestines. In individuals with this condition, their bodies cannot properly break down TMA, causing it to accumulate and be released through their sweat and breath. This can result in a strong and unpleasant odor, often described as fishy or musty. In extreme cases, it can even smell like rotten or decaying fish. The diagnosis can be made from birth, but it may become noticeable during puberty. Alyssa Pershley from New York is one such individual who has this condition. Living with it can be highly challenging, as the odor is difficult to control and can lead to social stigma and isolation. Nonetheless, Alyssa has become an advocate for people with this condition. She shared her story, raised awareness about her challenges, and openly talked about about her experiences and their effects. Nguyen Van Chien is a 92-year-old man from southern Mekong Delta region in Vietnam who hasn't cut his hair for 80 years. He has 16.5 feet or 5 meters long in dreadlocks because he believes he'll die if he cuts his hair. His faith is in Dua and he worships nine powers and seven gods. Many people believe he has some of the longest hair in the world and should be in the Guinness Book of World Records. Nguyen began growing his hair when he was in third grade and hasn't cut it since. He doesn't even dare to touch it or brush his hair. He does, however, take measures to keep it clean and dry, but ultimately he plans to leave the world the way he came in, exactly how he was born. Having hair this long comes with several discomforts and challenges, including difficulty sleeping, washing, and moving. However, he attributes his hair to helping him maintain good health and a long life, saying he's never had a serious illness in his life. It's always surprising when someone has an extra body part like a finger, but here we have a case where the whole family has six fingers and six toes. Although some people think it's a burden, the De Silva family thinks otherwise and actually made it into an advantage. According to them, the extra fingers and toes made them better goalkeepers and musicians. Martin Lurello's middle name is the Human Owl, but why? The reason is because he can turn his head just like an owl. You better not imitate this at home because it's very, very dangerous. And if you're already amazed, can you imagine how startled people were in the 1930s? His ability to turn his head completely backwards certainly caused several people to faint. Of course, he was noticed by Barnum and later invited to the circus to perform. He became very popular, and unlike other people in the circus, he didn't look unusual. This is natural, until he turned his head 180 degrees for applause. Although he had a flexible neck at birth, he had to train extra for it. It may be hard to believe, but he thus taught himself to turn his head 180 degrees. Pretty crazy, huh? Zhang Ruifeng is a woman with a unique feature because she has a horn of almost 6.25 meters coming out of her own forehead. In 2009, the woman first noticed that a horn began to grow on the left side of her forehead. Since then, many doctors, even her own son, begged her to have the horn removed. They even offered to do it for free. She did not want this because she's proud of her horn. Even though she has trouble sleeping, she enjoys the fame it brings, along with the people who come by from all over the world to bring her gifts. Believe it or not, Kenneth Brumley was once a talented athlete. That is, before things escalated until he became the world's heaviest man. What happened, you may ask? As a young man, he couldn't get enough of fast food, and he became accustomed to consuming more than 30,000 calories a day. This is the equivalent of what an average man eats in two weeks. A documentary showed the moment when firefighters literally had to tear down the walls of his house to save him. At that point, his bed broke down under his weight, and he could no longer support his own body. At the hospital, they estimated his weight at an incredible 1,032 pounds, or 468 kilograms. Fortunately, he's doing much better these days. Although he has more or less disappeared from the public eye, he has since lost most of his weight. Megan and Morgan Boyd were born in Philadelphia in 2013. They are fraternal twins, which means they developed from two separate eggs, fertilized by two separate sperm. While it's not uncommon for fraternal twins to have different eye colors, both Megan and Morgan have striking blue eyes. Due to their dark skin color, this should be largely impossible. The likelihood of having blue eyes largely depends on the eye color of your parents and other genetic factors. Blue eyes are a recessive trait, meaning a child must inherit two copies of the blue eye gene, one from each parent, two have blue eyes. If both parents have blue eyes, there's a greater chance their children will also have blue eyes. However, if one parent has brown eyes, the chance of children having blue eyes is lower. 
In the case of Megan and Morgan, their parents both have brown eyes, making blue eyes a rare occurrence. A gymnast named Natasha Coates had it all. But at the age of 18, stomach issues began to affect the quality of her life. It soon became clear that she was allergic to everything. This includes everything from certain foods to her own hair and tears. When her allergies hit, she never knew if they would be mild or if she would have to be taken to the emergency room. One day she can just eat something, and the next day she is allergic to it. When her hair grows, she sometimes gets blisters and burns her scalp. And when she cries, her tears leave a red rash on her face. These allergic reactions are called MCAs by scientists. One of the strangest things is that she can feel when she is starting to get very allergic. She then explains that her bones begin to ache due to the pressure changes in the air, and she experiences high feverish symptoms, giving her the nickname Weather Woman. When twin brothers Rodrigo and Javier were born, they both had physical problems. Their bodies grew at an uncontrollable rate. But Javier did survive. As he grew older, he began to develop various features that caused him to grow rapidly. His head grew huge, as did his ears. His father says that after much research, they discovered that there are no other cases like Javier in the entire world. Another aspect that grew excessively in addition to his body was the cartilage in his windpipe and larynx, meaning that he may have the deepest voice in the world. <laughs> Today he's over 2 meters and 35 centimeters tall. He does need a wheelchair to move around freely, and he spends his time helping with household jobs. Do you believe unicorns exist? No? But what about human unicorns? It may seem strange, but Wang, a man from China, lived in the 19th century, and he had a horn sticking out of the back of his head. He was first seen by a Russian banker who had took the picture of him and sent it to Robert Ripley, who was famous for his show, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Robert Ripley was so excited to meet Wang, but unfortunately, this meeting never happened. He even wanted to pay money for it, but for some reason, it just never happened. Robert, a very curious man, didn't give up on the meeting with the human unicorn, so he kept searching and eventually met other people with the same condition. Even in our modern world, we find people with horns. Because it's something in which, for various reasons, skin outgrowths appear on the people's bodies. Number 8. You've probably seen Valeria Lukyanova passing on social media. Valeria is a famous Ukrainian model and influencer who looks like a Barbie doll. The girl looks like she's had at least 10 plastic surgeries, but she insists that she's only ever had something changed on herself once, and it wasn't her face. It's hard to believe, because her face looks like that of a doll, and her waist is so slim that it's not easy to believe that she was actually born that way. Of course, makeup can change you a lot, and it seems Valeria knows how to make a perfect Barbie doll look. Valeria revealed that it takes her 1.5 hours to do the Barbie makeup, and we can only imagine what it takes to keep her body in Barbie shape. We bet there's a secret, but Valeria won't reveal it to anyone anytime soon. Normally, every human being has 206 bones, but a man named Dan Azir had 50 extra bones. They appeared throughout his life because he suffers from a rare genetic disorder that caused the growth of these extra bones. According to Dan himself, most of his extra bones are around every joint and ribcage. While some people are born with several extra body parts, Stellark, an Australian artist, decided to grow an ear on his arms. The reason for this? Just for art. It took the artist more than 10 years to find a surgeon who agreed to do the surgery. Stellark has bigger plans for his ear, and he wants to implant Wi-Fi with a microphone so people around the world can tune in to him to listen to him 24-7. Giulia Pastrana was a woman nicknamed the Ape Woman because of her looks. Many people called her a half-man, others said she was an animal, but those who really know her said she was very intelligent and docile. Julia traveled throughout Europe and America, and every performance she gave was completely sold out. She even managed to fall in love and get married, but unfortunately, her life was short and ended tragically. Umeno Sumiyama and Kume Kodama are Japanese twins who, on September 1st, 2019, at the age of 107 and 300 days, became the oldest living twins in the world. They were born on November 30th, 1911, in the city of Arita, Wakayama, Japan. 
The twins who share a love for sushi and walk together every morning for exercise have lived together their entire lives. They both got married and had children, but their spouses and children have since passed away. The longevity of Yumeno and Kume is not only due to genetics, but also their lifestyle. They maintain a healthy diet and keep their minds active with hobbies such as calligraphy and solving crossword puzzles. The twins grew up during a turbulent period in Japanese history, including the Taisho era and the height of World War II. Throughout their long lives, Umeno and Kume have remained proud of their Japanese heritage. They have also been recognized by the Japanese government and local community organizations for their contributions to Japanese culture and society. There have been many people in history with unusual physical features, and most of them used this to become famous. We can't blame them because the circus was probably the only thing that kept them alive. Robert Huddleston was born at the beginning of the 20th century, and you only have to look at him once to understand why he was nicknamed Pony Boy. He had his knees bent backwards, and therefore he had to walk like a pony. When Marty Sheedy was born, the doctors told his parents that he would only live two years at the most, and if he ever lived longer, he would never be able to walk on his own. He has several growth and joint abnormalities, called arthrogryposis. This disorder causes restricted growth, muscle weakness, and complications in various organs. His hips are permanently dislocated, and he also suffers from prune belly syndrome which means he has no abdominal muscles. Most babies with arthrogryposis do not live long, but Marty was an exception. Because he has no hip joints, but still wanted to walk and play like other children, he learned to walk with his legs crossed. As he grew up, many people stared at him. The kids at his school also asked him about his legs, but he was happy to explain it to them. He even proudly called himself the Scissors Man. Annie Jones was another member of the Phineas Barnum Circus, and she was known as the Bearded Lady. People lined up to see this woman because to them, she was a total freak. However, Annie was not the only woman with a beard, but according to the circus itself, she was the most popular and successful. Annie was born with extreme hair growth, and her mother said that her chin was even covered with hair when she was born. At the age of one, Alexandra Birch was diagnosed with Williams Syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that affects about 1 in 10,000 people worldwide. The condition is caused by a deletion of genetic material on chromosome 7, and is characterized by physical and developmental abnormalities. Williams Syndrome is also known as the Always Happy Syndrome. One of the most notable features is that affected individuals often have a very social nature, and an increased appreciation for music. Alexandra embodies this aspect, as she is constantly described is always cheerful and having a positive outlook on life. She loves to sing, dance, and has a passion for music. As a child, she struggled to make friends, leading to homeschooling, but she has a strong bond with her sister. According to her older sister Victoria, Alexandra is also not very good at keeping secrets. She's always honest, loves hugs, and is simply one of the kindest people you would ever meet. Craig Lewis is a man from Texas diagnosed with a rare, life-threatening heart condition. In 2011, he made medical history as the first person to receive a new type of artificial heart that allowed him to live without a heartbeat. The device, known as the continuous flow pump, works by pushing blood through the body and taking over the pumping function of the heart. The pump was developed by two doctors from the Texas Heart Institute, who also performed the surgery to implant it into Craig. The incredible part is that the surgery was successful, and he was able to survive for several weeks without a functioning heart. The development of the continuous flow pump and its use in Craig represents a significant breakthrough in the field of artificial heart technology. Despite being a relatively new method, it holds promise as a solution for those who lack a functioning heart or cannot receive a transplant. Can you imagine living without a heart? Tiffany Geigel always dreamed of becoming a professional dancer, but she thought her dream couldn't possibly come true. This is because she was born with a rare Jarko Levin syndrome, a bone disorder that makes her spine crooked and her neck noticeably shorter. As a child, she really didn't think about being different and even took dance lessons with other children. But when she got a little older, her dance teacher told her that her unique appearance is not what the ballet world wants. At first, Tiffany gave up, but then she started dancing again, and eventually her dream became a reality. Today, she's a ballet dancer for Heidi Latsky, the creator of the dance company for dancers with disabilities. Heidi offered her to come to dance at the studio. Tiffany, of course, said yes. Tiffany, of course, said yes, and her dream came true. The world is turned upside down for a woman named Bohana Danilovic. 
Her eyes might see images correctly, but her brain changes them. Her brain causes her to literally see everything upside down. The name of her unique condition is Spatial Orientation Phenomenon. Other people around the world have reported similar things before, but they affect their writing more than their reading. If the woman wants to be able to read something correctly, she must read it from bottom to top. She works at a municipality in Usiz, in Serbia, and Montenegro, where they have made special forms for her. At her home, she has a television that is upside down. Bohana admits these changes may look strange to others, but to her, this is the norm. Can you imagine having to read everything upside down? Rumisa Gelji from Turkey is known as the tallest woman in the world, and she's just over 6 foot 10 inches or 2.1 meters tall. She has Weaver syndrome, which is an incredibly rare genetic disorder. Rumizia was the first person in Turkey to receive this diagnosis, and it's estimated that there are only about 150 similar cases in the world. The fact that she towered over everyone in the room didn't stop her from having the most radiant smile in the room. Not only is she in the technical field trained as a web designer, but she also holds five Guinness World Record titles. Among them is the title for the tallest woman in the world, and for having the largest hands of any woman. She believes that even if you have something seemingly negative, you can still turn it into something positive. Alexandria Wollaston is a woman from Florida who made headlines after giving birth to two sets of twins in 2019. The chance of having two sets of twins in the same year is estimated to be about 1 in 110,000. Alexandria welcomed her first set of twin boys, Mark and Malaki, on March 13, 2019. She gave birth to her second set of twin boys, Kaylin and Caleb, on December 27, 2019. She had no history of twins in her family, and no one in her surroundings had experienced this either. Alexandria's unique story reminds us that families come in all shapes and sizes. After hearing the news, many people came to her aid and showered her with love and support. A GoFundMe page was even set up to help with the expenses of raising four newborns, which quickly surpassed its $10,000 goal. Despite the challenge of mothering four newborns, she's grateful to have experienced motherhood in such a special way. The next person is the total opposite of the general little thumb. As Zai Shichai was a Chinese giant, he was immensely famous all over the world because he traveled and performed a lot. He was 7 foot 10 inches, or 2.4 meters tall, and maybe today that doesn't seem that big, but for China in the middle of the last century, he was extremely tall. Meet Neil Harbison, the world's first cyborg. This man has a closer connection to technology than anyone else in the world. It all started when he was born and diagnosed with complete color blindness. Although he was not ashamed of his black and white vision, he wanted to understand vision in a different way. By 2004, he invented something that allows him to hear both visible and invisible wavelengths of light. This is thanks to an antenna-like sensor implanted in his head. The antenna translates the wavelengths into vibrations that reflect off of his skull, which he then hears and understands. Today he's known as the world's first official cyborg, part human and part robot. According to Neil himself, humans will increasingly become cyborgs in the future through technology. Would you like to be a cyborg? Let me know in the comments. Charles Stratton was a dwarf who lived in the early 19th century, and like many people with unusual looks, he became famous for his performance at the Phineas Barnum Circus. He was already a huge sensation when he was only five years old, and was soon seen by the circus as one of their miracles. Charles' father negotiated a deal with the circus, and Charles has been nicknamed General Little Thumb ever since. Thomas is a Swiss boy with an incredibly rare blood type. In fact, his blood type is the rarest in the world, which is why it is often called the Golden Blood. This is the blood type RH Null, and it's so rare that only 43 people in the entire world have it. Thomas once contracted an infection that required his parents to take him to a hospital. When the doctors there took his blood, they discovered something very strange, which they first thought was a mistake. But after a few more tests, Thomas was indeed diagnosed as having the RH Null blood type. People with this rare blood type lack an antigen that most people have. In this case of RH Null blood, there is a complete lack of antigens in the blood. So for people like Thomas, it's very difficult to get a blood transfusion. There are also very few possible donors with this very rare blood type, so it's pretty scary if something should happen to him. 
Thomas is a Swiss boy with an incredibly rare blood type. In fact, his blood type is the rarest in the world, which is why it is often called the Golden Blood. This is the blood type RH Null, and it's so rare that only 43 people in the entire world have it. Thomas once contracted an infection that required his parents to take him to a hospital. When the doctors there took his blood, they discovered something very strange, which they first thought was a mistake. But after a few more tests, Thomas was indeed diagnosed as having the RH Null blood type. People with this rare blood type lack an antigen that most people have. In this case of RH Null blood, there is a complete lack of antigens in the blood. So for people like Thomas, it's very difficult to get a blood transfusion. There are also very few possible donors with this very rare blood type, so it's pretty scary if something should happen to him. What's the longest time you've ever slept? Whatever it is, a woman named Jody Robeson easily surpasses it. Jody hails from the English city of Birmingham and suffers from a severe sleep disorder. She can sleep for up to 11 days in a row. This significantly impacts her life, affecting her ability to work, drive, and maintain relationships. Sleeping for 11 consecutive days is far from normal. Jody has what is known as Klein-Levin syndrome, a rare and poorly understood neurological disorder that mainly affects teenagers and young adults. The condition is so rare that there have been only around 1,000 reported cases worldwide since it was first described in 1925. People with this condition can become so sleepy that it can last for days, weeks, or even months. Some may sleep up to 20 hours a day or more and struggle to stay awake even when out of bed. To solve his dilemma of the world's biggest chin, Chinese-born Chang Du offered his chin as advertising space. The money would go towards an operation to make his chin smaller. Chang Du was born in Lushugao in central China, and as a baby, he didn't immediately have a big chin as he does now. Gradually as he got older, he started to get pustules in his mouth that grew bigger and made his chin dramatically bigger. The cost of the surgery he needs, a replacement of the lower jaw, is about $5,600, or 5,300 euros. It's not just about the aesthetic aspect either, but he also needs the surgery to change his appearance because the size of his chin means he can barely close his mouth. As a result, he has enormous difficulty eating and drinking. Most days, he doesn't leave his house, in fear of the public's reaction. Meet Grace McDaniels, better known as the woman with the mule face. Grace had Sturge Weber syndrome, meaning she had an excessive amount of skin on her face that hung down below her chin. This affected her life in every way. It took her years to learn to speak, and when confronted by her peers, she was bullied. As she grew older, she traded makeup to hide her features for veils. She eventually entered the 1935 competition, The Ugliest Woman, and won, which earned her a spot with a traveling circus. Throughout her career as a profitable circus star, Grace continued to dislike having her picture taken. Hence the infamous photos of her in the background instead of the front. What makes you unique? Let us know in those comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.